fish are rolling up. Two Blunt Marley certified pilot. Smoking all this Dutchy shit, bro. Let's just go ahead. Jump in, bro. We ain't, we ain't doing we doing all the bullshit. Let's just do it. A trend that police are seeing in several West Michigan cities happened again this weekend. Criminals broke into two cannabis shops in Cedar Springs. News 8's Megan Bunchman spoke with police about the investigation and shows us the rules designed to try and stop these type of crimes from happening. All new at 7. So, hold on. Um, you say this is West Michigan. All right. Well, I mean, they got they got dispensaries. They're they're gonna deal with the same thing that every place they got dispensaries is gonna deal with. Motherfuckers trying to run up and do and do dumb shit. Let's 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 go. It was here at the Meds Cafe in Cedar Springs that the first break-in attempt happened around 12.30 Saturday morning. But deputies say that the suspects weren't actually able to gain access into this store, so they drove about a mile and a half down the road and instead hit Michiganja. Okay, so hold on. What's happening inside Meds Cafe that they wasn't able to get in? What these niggas got? Double door layers. What? what? <laughs> What, what, what they do? They at this? It looked like they broke the glass or attempted to break the glass. What these niggas got some unbreakable, unbreakable super glass? How these niggas ain't get in there? Show me, show me the footage. Yeah. And as we were watching on our phones live as they were doing it. Um, the police were notified. Michiganja Cafe is running as usual following a break in Saturday at this popular Cedar Springs cannabis shop. Sir Michiganja Cafe. A cafe makes me think you can go in there and eat some shit. Like they got they got places you can eat and buy weed at in Michigan. Surveillance footage caught three people kicking and smashing through both the shop's door and security window. And once inside, they stole about $3,000 worth of product. Just about two pounds, which really isn't uh, that much, honestly. Right. You know what I mean? These niggas, ain't, these niggas got fucking bullshit. Honestly. <laughs> Just before this smash and grab, deputies believe that the same suspects attempted a similar hit at Med's Cafe just up the road. The alarm went off for the first dispensary. Officers responded as we always do. Um, however, because the officers are familiar with the area, they know the establishments, they knew that the second dispensary was also a potential target. So. When they arrived on scene, deputies saw one of the thieves leaving the store. They followed the suspects who were driving this white car, but lost them during the pursuit. This isn't the first time dispensaries have been targeted here in West Michigan. Okay, so these niggas, these niggas got away? I mean, I'm not happy about that, but I mean, we don't want nobody going there and shit, but we also don't want nobody... Breaking in goddamn dispensary, bruh. It's a conundrum. I'm stuck in a bad place right now. Since the start of this year, seven attempted break-ins have been reported in Grand Rapids. And in Muskegon, two weeks ago, another break-in, this time at Skymint. Kent County Under Sheriff Chuck DeWitt says some people believe police won't investigate break-ins at dispensaries, but they are wrong. Uh, it's a business. It's within the law. And uh, we're going to investigate that incident like we would any other. Within the state of Michigan, each dispensary is required to submit security and crime prevention plans prior to license approvals. Those extra steps are likely why most break-ins aren't successful. But for only... You know what? Uh, I, I, I wouldn't... I wouldn't be upset at anybody who would think that you know what i mean cops cops wouldn't take break-ins at dispensary serious uh you have, to, you have to understand cops cops historically have been against weed but just like that cop did say though bro that shit is illegal business burglarizing that shit is burglary It's not robbing like robbing a drug dealer. Or a drug dealer's breaking the law the same as, as the nigga robbing him is. 
Owners of Michiganja, a minor monetary loss is forcing them to add more securities. We're actually going to install metal gates that uh, come down simply because uh, it's the least intrusive method and by the time you break through that glass, the cops are going to show up within minutes. Pictures of the subjects continued to be shared on social media. Metal gates did drop down. Do what you mean, like, like a lock a nigga in gate? That's what you need. You need to lock a nigga in gate. Let a nigga get in. Go ahead, get in there. Lock your ass in. Media deputies are following up on leads. In Cedar Springs, I'm Megan Bunchman, News 8. That's what they need to do. Need to get a lock a nigga in gate. So a nigga, nigga break, break through the door. Okay. You get in there. Now you end up in the, in the other joint. You break through the other joint. Now you get into the building. Drop down. Drop down. Lock a nigga in gate. Lock that nigga in. Let the cops come, come get it up. Yep, that's what, that's what they need, bro. They need they they need the two blood morally patent pending. Lock a nigga in gate. 